Hey everyone, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to this vlog today. I feel like I keep picking like the darkest, gloomiest days to film. It's just rainy all day, but it's fine. <laughs> anyway, so today I am going to make goulash for supper. I don't know if any of you have ever made goulash before, but I need to look at the recipe. Um, I need to do a little bit of prep right now, but I don't think I need to turn it on. I want to say it takes like two hours in the crock pot or something, but I need to brown the beef and um, get the pasta ready and like do all of that stuff. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then, um, then I'll just probably stick it in the fridge, I guess. And then, um, we'll probably try to eat around five. That's when Solomon eats and Michael, my husband, um, he should be home. Well, he works till four today, so he should be home by that time. So we can all eat together today. So that'd be nice. <laughs> Doesn't really happen that often that we all can eat at the same time. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this food prep going. We like to omit some of the ingredients. So it's ground beef, I'm just looking at the recipe here, it's ground beef, onions, garlic, green pepper, tomato paste, water, pasta sauce, tomatoes, Worcestershire sauce, mushrooms, Italian seasoning, salt, and pasta. So we usually omit some of those ingredients, um, and then we kind of do our own thing. We like put the beef, of course. We're not really onion or mushroom people, so we don't put those in. I'll probably put some peppers in. My husband doesn't care as much, but he likes peppers, but um, he won't want a ton. And I'll probably put some tomatoes in, but not as much as it says, because Michael will eat tomatoes, but not a lot. Like, he won't like it if it's a lot of tomatoes. Um, we don't specifically have Italian seasoning, but we use cats are playing but I've used this um, it's chef Paul pizza and pasta magic so I'll probably use that for that I don't have any garlic cloves right now I meant to get some more but I don't have any but we have this this freeze-dried garlic I got a long time ago when I was looking for garlic cloves and like couldn't figure out where they kept them I'll probably just try putting some of that in just to give it a little bit of that garlicky flavor. So, okay, cool. So it looks like it, basically you put everything in. It's on high for two hours or low in the crock pot for four to five hours. So I'll do it on high for two hours. Uh, and then, well, let me think. I'm planning on running to Target and probably Cub today to get a couple things. Um, I want to get a few Easter things for Solomon for his basket. And I need couple other things. Where is it now? You know what I could do? It's 12.05 now. I could put it on low once I get this all set. Maybe I'll just do that because that way it's just going. I don't have to worry about it. The only thing is I'll, I'll cook the pasta shells now but you don't put them in until the very very end and then you let it go for like another 10 minutes. So I'll just stick those in the fridge. So I think we have a plan. I'm not gonna bother with this today, but if uh, you ever wanna make goulash, it, um, we actually made it a couple other times, 
Are We Made It for Solomon's first birthday party. If you haven't seen that vlog, I'll link that one above me here as well as down below. Uh, so we made it for that. So it was really good for having with a bunch of people. We also made it once to bring over to my cousin's house. So it worked really well just to have in the crock pot to bring. So it's like a really good, easy thing uh, to bring somewhere to have if you're gonna have a bunch of people. Um, but sour cream. Um, I'm gonna shred some cheese, so that will be good on top of it, but sour cream, cheese, and uh, Fritos. I would recommend those three things to like top with it. I am going to the store today, so we'll see. I might decide to get some sour cream or Fritos. Um, we'll just see if I end up doing that, but I don't have them just, I mean, I have, I think I might have still a little sour cream. I'm not sure if it's still good, but for sure, shredded cheese. This might be a little bit of a ridiculous thing, but when I try to get some of the, um, the fat and oils out of the beef, the ground beef, uh, I'll sometimes just take like a big spoon and try to spoon some into a bowl. I figure it's nice to kind of actually keep some of it in. It's a lot easier than trying to have to like strain it all out and then put it all back. And then I let it sit in the bowl, it solidifies and it's a lot easier to get rid of so quick tip to you if that's something that you struggle with <laughs> I'll try it hopefully it's not weird I also found that I have some onion powder so we're not putting onions in but I'll I'm gonna just try this for a little extra flavor recipe here and see if I am missing anything. Okay, ground ground beef, onions and garlic. Add it to the crock pot with everything else. Cook on high for two hours, glow for four to five hours. Then add the shells in the last couple minutes. Okay, let me see here. Oh, I didn't put that in yet. Okay, so beef, we have that. Onion, I use onion powder. I use that freeze-dried garlic. Okay, so I think I'll throw in a few peppers. I got the tomato paste. I need half cup water. I got the pasta sauce. Did I put in enough? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, good. 24 ounce pasta sauce. Um, tomatoes, I put in some. I still need the Worcestershire sauce. Not doing the mushrooms. I put in seasoning, a little bit of salt. Okay, so I just need salt, water, peppers, and Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. What a word, huh? Now I just have to plug it in. I feel like I should have used our crock pot that's a little bit bigger, but I think it's gonna be fine. 
I feel like I should have used our crock pot that's a little bigger. When we got married, we got a couple of crock pots, and at first I was like, why do we need two? But one is a little bit smaller, one's a little bit bigger. Uh, they actually come in really handy for depending on what you're making. And when we did make the goulash for Solomon's birthday party, we used both crock pots. And we just doubled the recipe, or like one and a half did. I can't remember. Anyway, okay, we're gonna let that sit for a bit. It's 12.39 right now, so by the time we actually eat it. Oh, you know what I should do actually? I'll start getting the pasta all boiled and then it'll just be ready and then um, then we'll go shopping a little bit later. So Solomon woke up from his nap like 15, 20 minutes ago and we're just having a little snack here. Um, we're gonna head to, I think uh, I wanna- uh, I think I want to go to Target <laughs> and Cub. Mm -hmm. um, I want to get some hummus and those like non rounds because uh, they're tasting the hummus and they make really good just mini pizzas for him for lunches sometimes. So I think I want to stop there. Um, I think I want to do both. So maybe I'll run to Target first and then go to Cub. I want to grab a couple things for Solomon for his Easter basket. I have one thing already. Of course, it's funny, like, he's gonna go with me to get stuff for his Easter basket, but it's fine. This is his Easter basket. We got this for him last year. I'll show you real quickly. We got him this book. I have to hide it, otherwise he's gonna want it right now. Um, so we have this Ooh. Easter basket, so I have that book for him. We wanna get him a soccer ball like a small one so he can kick that around the field and i, I want to get like one or two other small things to put in the basket so we'll just see what they have and what i decide when we get there i don't want to go crazy um but i want like him to have something especially now that he's a little older this year for it so he'll have more fun with something that's in the basket so I just looked up the sign for Easter. It looks like there's a couple different variations on it. Uh, one is just the E hand shape and you kind of go back and forth like that. Um, so Easter. And she also, the video I watched, uh, she said, make sure that you have a happy face on because that can also be like for emergency if it's like. But anyway, so Easter uh, or like Easter. So two hands out it looked like one that she did it was kind of like more close um i don't know i think i'll just stick with either like this or like easter easter i just wanted to share easter easter i always feel like we're doing the e hand shape easter easter um easter <laughs> uh i just wanted to share that quick since we we're getting some easter shopping done right some shopping. I Hoping it's not too rainy out because okay, it's not too bad. Um, I really I don't I have rain boots for Solomon, but they're a little too big, and I'm pretty sure I got rid of mine because I needed new ones, and I was like, I'll keep them until I have new ones, and then I can't find them anymore, so I must have gotten rid of them. So I think we are okay though. <laughs> Okay, I just really quickly wanted to show you what we got 
uh, or what I got for Solomon for his Easter basket. So I already showed you the book. Uh, I also got him this ball. Uh, we got the bubbles. What is it? Like bubbles? Bubbles. And then I got him some sidewalk chalk and okay I can't find it but I also got him just one of those little peanut butter Reese's peanut butter uh, like Easter eggs and then I got him a couple of new shirts dress shirts this one and this one was on sale with the little airplanes on it so I got a couple of those too uh, and then I got just, I got some hummus non bread um, some shampoo stuff like that uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here thank you all for watching today remember to like it if you enjoyed it click the subscribe button down below I've been posting videos every single Wednesday with the occasional Friday I've been trying to do a little bit more ASL learning and practice recently as well as vlogs and mom stuff um, so make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my new uploads uh, and I hope you all have a happy Easter and I will see you later bye everyone